This city looks like it's hanging upside down from a cloud, but how can that be? Then there's this mysterious floating city over China. How did that happen? Well, the world is full of strange illusions and phenomena that are as intriguing as they are confusing. Let's find out how and why some of the world's strangest sightings happen, and more specifically, why if you fly over this city, it appears upside down. First, what is going on here? This image was taken on board a flight and hasn't been edited in any way. It looks like the Chicago skyline, but it's mysteriously inverted and looks like it's hanging off a cloud. Is this the upside down from Stranger Things? That would be cool, but no, there's another reason, and I'll tell you about it really soon. See if you can leave the correct answer in the comments now, and see if you're correct later in the video. But before we get to that, let's take a look at another weird sighting in the sky that took the internet by storm and reveal what really cost it. In 2015, a video of a mysterious floating city over a Chinese city surfaced online and quickly went viral. It's a little spooky, with what appears to be buildings floating among the clouds. The gray and murky weather sure adds to the horror movie feel, but is the video authentic? Well, if you believe lots of media organizations out there, they'll tell you it is. Lots of published articles claim it's a Fata Morgana, a type of atmospheric mirage. This occurs when there is cold, dense air near the ground, with warmer air above it. This is unusual, so it's called a temperature inversion. They're most common over large bodies of water, but in rare cases can occur elsewhere. The layering of warm air over cold air bends light rays as they pass between the air masses. That bending of the light rays tricks your brain into thinking an object is higher up than it is in reality. And there you have a floating city. This also explains why people sometimes think they see flying ships or a wall of water on the horizon. It may even explain the famous Flying Dutchman myth about a ghost ship flying over the seas. However, Fata Morganas don't appear like that city in the clouds, or that upside down city coming up. The reason is simple. Fata Morganas occur near the horizon, not way up in the sky, and they don't create whole cities where there aren't any. So what is it? Probably a fake, helped along by lazy journalism. One atmospheric scientist from the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado said the video almost looks too good to be real. Even though reports claim that thousands of people had seen the city, Upon closer inspection, there are no actual eyewitness reports from anyone who claims to have seen the thing. Which is odd, because even by 2015, most people had cameras on their phones, and would have been both capable and willing to record something like this. Still, when anything unusual appears in the sky, typically there are dozens of amateur videos floating around afterwards. But with the floating city, all the videos trace back to one single video that was uploaded for all the world to see. With video editing software, it's easy to add something, like a city, to an existing video, like one of an empty sky. The right software can even add the city in a realistic way, or as realistic as you're going to get putting a city in the sky. So this entire video is simply a fake, but that doesn't mean this type of sight never happens in real life. Check out this image of a medieval castle in the sky. Like the video from China, it appears floating among the clouds, but this is a different type of illusion. What you're looking at is the Festung Hohen Salzburg, a 14th century fortress which sits high on a mountain above the Austrian city of Salzburg. One of the largest medieval castles in Europe, it was originally built in 1077. So why is it floating? On the day this picture was taken, the city was enveloped in fog. So technically yes, this castle is in the clouds, just not the ones in the sky. Here's another interesting picture of something floating in the heavens, and some people took that literally. This time, it appears to be a pair of hands. Naturally, some Reddit users decided the photographer had captured a picture of God's hands, holding a camera. Hey, even the big guy in the sky needs to take a selfie every now and then, right? Well, maybe, but that's not what we're looking at here. Those are hands alright, and they are holding a camera, much like, well, the person who took the picture. That's right, what you're seeing here is a reflection of the photographer's hands on the glass of the car's windshield. Then there's this. It looks like the setting of a new sci-fi movie set on a planet long ago and far, far away or something like that. But rest assured, it was taken right here on Earth. These strange extra suns you see on the side are called sun dogs. They're also known as mock suns, or the more formal term, parhelions. Sometimes two of them flank the sun with a 22 degree halo. This is another type of optical illusion, which happens when sunlight refracts off ice crystals in the atmosphere. However, they can occur in any season, since ice crystals may form higher in the atmosphere even when it's warm down on the ground. They're easier to spot when the sun is close to the horizon, and, in case you're wondering, there's also a similar phenomenon occurring at night called moon dogs, but these are much rarer and harder to spot. Like their canine cousins, werewolves, moon dogs only come out when the moon is full or close to it. 
Moving a little closer to Earth, at first glance, this appears to be the bravest hiker ever. They're walking purposefully on the razor edge of a very steep cliff, apparently without a care in the world. I hope they brought a parachute just in case. Wait, that won't be necessary. Actually, the hiker is nowhere near the sky. Instead, they're safe at the bottom of a canyon near Lake Powell, Utah. What you see next to them is a pool of water reflecting the edge of the cliff rising up over the hiker. Because the canyon protects the water from wind disturbances, it's a perfect mirror for everything around it. If the picture is viewed upside down, the hiker appears to be in a cavern, also upside down. This next illusion looks like a giant wave in the sky, but it isn't. That sky glider is flying over what is known as a morning glory cloud that forms in the Gulf of Carpentaria off the coast of Australia. This type of cloud only occurs under certain weather conditions, especially during periods of high humidity. The cloud is most common from late September to early November and can be observed from the coastal city of Burktown. The most likely cause of the roll cloud is mesoscale circulations from sea breezes that blow over the peninsula and gulf. When this tubular cloud forms, it can be 1,000 kilometers long and move at speeds of up to 60 kilometers an hour. As the wave rushes across the gulf, it creates the perfect conditions for hang gliders, who often come to town in the fall for the chance of riding it. As the wave moves, lifting air rises over the advancing cloud, letting hang glider pilots like the one in this picture soar without having to seek thermal lift. Now that's riding the wave. Now, before we get to that upside down city in the sky, here's one more optical illusion to bend your mind. Look at this little girl. To many people, she initially appears to be underwater. But is she? Others argue she looks like she's just jumping in. After the picture was posted online, some viewers commended her for not plugging her nose like a boss. Others pointed out she wasn't plugging her nose because she wasn't underwater. She was just crouching in a shallow pool. If you guessed she was submerged, you totally got hosed. The water bubbles around her face definitely make it seem like she's underwater, but look more closely. Her ponytail is dry, and her skin looks dry too. She's actually just jumping into the water. So why does it also look like she's submerged? When she jumped, the water dispersed all over the place. Droplets near her head created the look of underwater bubbles, but in reality, they're just water droplets that haven't fallen back into the pool yet. Now let's finally explain the upside down city in the clouds. This photo was taken from a plane flying over the Windy City, and dense cloud cover. Impressively, the photographer shot this picture with his phone through a two-inch thick scratched plexiglass window and it came out beautifully. Now, why is Chicago just hanging around like that? Have you figured it out? It's actually a reflection of the city on Lake Michigan. The picture captured the reflection through a break in the cloud cover. Without the whole lake and shoreline for the context, it looks like the skyline is actually hanging from a cloud. After seeing the picture, many Redditors were confused about how the photographer got the shot through the clouds. Some called it trippy or professed profound confusion. It helps to remember the photographer was in a plane above the cloud cover with the camera pointing down. In between the clouds, this section of the lake with a reflected skyline was visible. This close-up picture of the photo flipped upside down shows what the buildings would look like upright. Now that's one cool real-life illusion. Do you know of any other amazing real-life illusions? Let me know in the comments section down below. Till next time, thanks for watching.